You are watching B in Conversation. I'm Ken Wee, Senior VP of Partnership and New Business at Bridge Alliance. Roaming has been an integral part of modern travel, whether it is for business or for leisure. COVID-19 pandemic has, however, disrupted travel plans globally due to lockdown and travel restrictions between the year 2020 and 2022. This has resulted in billions of dollars of roaming revenue loss for mobile network operators. Now that the world has reopened, is the world of roaming coming back to life? I'm delighted to have Paul Hodges, who is the Senior Vice President at Cineverse, to join me in today's conversation. We're going to talk about travel, technology evolution, and its impact on roaming consumption. Hi Paul, welcome to Bridge Be In Conversation again. Can we say that travel is back for Asia Pacific? Thanks Ken, uh, great to be here. Thanks for having me back. Uh, as a Bridge technology partner, we always value the opportunity for this kind of dialogue. Uh, to your question, I, I think it's becoming increasingly obvious that yes, absolutely. Uh, the travel industry in the Asia Pacific region is experiencing a remarkable recovery particularly after China began opening up uh, to international travel again at the start of this year. I remember Singapore was, was one of the first major hubs to open uh, in the Asia Pacific just over a year ago now. And I know personally from several trips there since that Singapore has seen an amazing growth uh, in travel over the last year. Hong Kong opened up last September, uh, which is when I started to travel again. I've probably visited around 12 countries since then. One thing I have noticed is a remarkable progressive increase in traffic at all regional airports since then. Uh, we actually just held our Asia Pacific Users Group Conference in Bangkok a couple of weeks ago. It was very well received with over 100 customers flying in from 20 regional countries. Uh, at our Users Group Conference, uh, research company Kaleido uh, presented, the spurred on by China, APAC International Travel Recovery is expected to be on par with the global average recovery of around 84% by the end of this year. And that China will reach 100% recovery levels during 2024. As more and more airlines ramp up capacity, I think we're going to be very surprised continued resurgence in the second half of this year. And for mobile operators, this, of course, means a welcome return to international roaming revenue and equally importantly, uh, opportunities for market differentiation on international products and services. Now that roaming is back, how has the world of roaming changed? Are there new technology developments and opportunities for mobile operators? Good question. The, the world of roaming is certainly changing, but I think uh, the change is more to do with technology advancements than uh, with a, a return to travel. It's the recovery of travel together with this technology evolution that is certainly very positive for mobile operators. I think two of the obvious major technology developments that we're experiencing are Volti and 5G. Have a look at uh, firstly Volti, uh, voice over LTE. The GSM Association also presented statistics at our Bangkok Users Group Conference, and they noted that while the world has 717 LTE networks launched in 230 markets, Volti rollout has been relatively slow. Volti is only active in 250 operators across 107 markets, and there are only around 100 active Volti roaming services globally 